We do know, however, that about 90% of all consumed news and entertainment media is owned by six major conglomerates, so it wouldn't take much to get all the stations to say the same thing. Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned, concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible. One side of news stories plaguing our country. country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 There's tons of clips like that, and whoever goes through and compiles these clips, they're doing the yeoman's work. It's one thing to abstractly point out that all these news outlets are controlled by a few companies, but it's another to show the final effect. These companies themselves are probably effectively controlled by fir firms like Vanguard and BlackRock and State Street. There are others who go into a lot more detail on that and how everything is basically owned by a few finance houses. And by owned, I mean having, say, 15% shares in 40% of all firms directly. Plus, some of those smaller investing houses are themselves actually subsidiaries of Vanguard, BlackRock, and Straight State Street. Most shareholders don't vote, so the idea idea is that the big three can basically tell most of the important companies what to do. It may not be dictatorial control, may not be absolute control, but it is a omnipresent influence, we could say, that allows them to set agendas and push agendas. But that's a bit of its own thing. Uh, the possibility of this being true serves as an explanation for why we see unified media narratives. But whether it's Vanguard, State Street, and BlackRock, or whoever, the fact remains that this stuff happens. We can directly observe the end phenomenon. Whoever is orchestrating or getting the ball rolling on all or part of it, if anyone in particular for any given campaign, we can still observe the end phenomenon.